Hi, welcome to Ancient Magus Bride Reaction for Season 2, Episode 2. Just so you're aware, I already watched this episode, and the reason for that is because I messed up while recording. <laughs> oh, man. Like I said, I'm new to this stuff. Since last week, I basically tried to split the audio into two different channels. However, in OBS, I didn't actually set it to record both of the channels that were split, so therefore it only recorded the actual, um, not my voice. Which would have been easier to edit if I had gotten my actual reaction first off. I actually... <laughs> oh, man. It's it's terrible. It's embarrassing. Anyway, let's just get straight into this. So embarrassing. And yet this show is still so pretty. Like, just look at this. Hey, are you a new professor? Right, the glamour. So I'm gonna be honest, that character design threw me off a lot, but then I figured out who it was. So what now? Uh, Call for a doctor, I guess. And we're going back to the new best friend. You are strong. Well, the gonna be I best friend. Twice her weight, actually. Man, seems that dragon curse isn't all bad. I really wish that I didn't mess You're up recording. Awake. Uh, you, you really shouldn't flail around like that. But yeah, Have you ever they're totally going to become the best today? of friends. Have you spoken to a doctor about this? If they prescribed you anything, you should take it. Are you anemic? Do you get headaches or stomach aches? Any other symptoms? If this is a mild problem, certain teas can be helpful. You need to take them regularly, though. There are other options you could try. She says is such I a good character, man. I know that might help you. Uh, I'm so sorry. I got carried away. Do you know of anything that can help with that? Maybe? Oh, yeah. I do. Here. It's tea. There's German chamomile and linden in there. Plus a dash of other various teas. <laughs> so, how, um... How do you want me to pay you back? You don't when need to you do, do anything. something for someone, always get compensation. Oh shoot. And like I, I said earlier, thinking about last time when I started helping. Totally what he would say. Let's see. <laughs> you can just let me know how they work for you. Does that sound fair? Uh, I left without asking her name. And I believe it was a name I still can't remember. Despite watching this once. Man. Philomela. Philo, there we go. And then there's this, been this lady who I don't trust. Our next class will all. be starting shortly. Miss Veronica. Were you talking to someone? No, ma'am. Oh. Why did you cut <laughs> your hair? Hmm? I'm gonna be honest. Well, I had to when I made Didn't even recognize her. I don't have a clue why it's taken such a shine to me. I remember you calling me a fool of a dog when I bonded with Chise. You are a fool. I don't get easily attached like you do. I find <laughs> hanging out with the kid fun, and that's all there is to it. So in exchange for keeping the good times going, I'm watching out for her. What we have is completely transactional. I'd never be so stupid as to give my life away by bonding with another creature. <laughs> he means us. I'm in a different year, so see you around. Oh man. Thank you, Alice. I do like see, how we basically have the, I'm sorry crap. the best friend. <laughs> Good. Um, the new best friend, and then the awkward roommate interaction. And I believe we're about to be introduced to all the new characters. No. Oh. Poor thing, the trauma. Don't worry, she say. Uh, <laughs> you're back. I was nervous on my first day too. Just remember, you can punch anyone who gives you trouble. Thanks, Alice. Oh my God. 
Look at all the twins. Just like Harry Potter. I'm never going to not stop saying that so long as they're in this setting. This is literally just Harry Potter. It's the beginning Which also of another had too many twins. Year here at the college. Some students may have seen me about campus, but for everyone else, welcome. I'm Professor Narcisse Moen. You may call me <laughs> Professor Narcissist or something equally clever. We'll begin the year properly uh, yes. with our annual overview. The best name. Let's talk the rudiments of alchemy. To practice alchemy is to expand I love that they're just going to expand upon an actual alchemy. alchemy is a much greater because, um... For to master alchemy because to alchemy master seems a lot like knowledge. magecraft Our from uh, fate, read the winds fate state and stars, scouring them as where um they divined through flames mages are more like uh act, like true magic they traveled the world in the same thing all its myriad rules if you didn't know I'm learning a huge how fate to use them fan. and how to make their own some theorize that alchemy is born of magic but that's more of a pithy exaggeration of the facts and there are those that believe it was created by people who oh, that's the roommate. Magic. I don't think I ever the caught on to that. The of these theories is time. that alchemy is to know and manipulate the world. Everything is connected, deeply and richly so. Thus, for all of you to find your way, to find your own conclusions, you must be diligent. Stuff your brains full of data and work to hone your senses to a razor's edge. Vision, the working of your yeah. organs, voice and sound. Sense of touch, the twinkling of stars, the swaying of trees buffeted by passing gales, the interplay of light and shadow, the dancing of flames on coals, the flow of water, the formations of the earth. All right, then. Let's start today's lesson, shall we? It is a dull one, I'm afraid, <laughs> but that's to be expected when you'll be studying Latin. <sighs> oh man, what a great speech this only to follow up by. Oh, by the way, this is going to be boring. <laughs> it seems we have the pleasure of having a visiting student in this year who's a mage. Chise Hattori? Uh, yes. Be prepared to work hard. Yes, I will. Well, I trust hello, her. Hello, Miss Mage. Oh, Don't. Hello. Don't Good do it. Good day. I'm Veronica Rickenbacker. A pleasure. Jeez. If it's all right, no. would you please show me a bit of your magic sometime? How about no? Um, I think I could do that. Nice to meet you. See, I'm Chise. I have nothing other than our earlier interaction to base anything off of, but she does not seem like a nice person. Oh, <laughs> he must not like. Yeah, and this guy must not like mages at all or be traumatized by them. You look worse for wear. Today's been kind of a lot. It's time for magic class to begin. Ah, oh, yes. Welcome, the, I got everyone. very confused the first time around. It seems your junior high first years very well. I am Elias Ainsworth. How come she So I'm going to be honest, the very first time I got confused for a solid minute here, where I was just like, wow, that's weird that he has the same exact name as Elias. You know. And then I was just like, oh, dang. I really wish I hadn't messed up with my audio recording that first time around. You know? She doesn't look that much older than us. I heard that mages can look however they want to. And the only so other thing I'll say is I really like Elias's right. I forgot character design. Like normal people do. Well, I age normally you know, too. until you realize it's if an eldritch abomination. Based on people he knows, then who's that? <laughs> I couldn't say. A word of warning. Magic requires more aptitude than alchemy does. Most of that mm. aptitude comes from your compatibility with them. In a practical sense, magic is a joint effort between you and them. Mages take I really love how they just explain more stuff about it. While alchemists create magic power within themselves. Since both involve wielding the same energy, provided an alchemist has the aptitude to negotiate, they can use magic the same way a mage does, at least in theory. They are not all powerful beings, so you mustn't leave them to do everything for you. And they may be difficult to understand, especially at the start. As you will discover. <laughs> this will make more sense once you try it yourself. But before you do, I must stress that you be mindful not to upset them. 
One must always exercise caution when dealing with those that aren't human. I wonder how common it is for, for today, like alchemists to, to see the others, the neighbors. And then blow it out. The flame's intensity. How long it will burn. Be clear and concise. Swain, Hattery, please show them. <laughs> <sighs> oh, screw it. Let's start a fire. Okay. <laughs> Wayne, do we know that name? I heard that she's the first alchemist in decades to get a fairy as a familiar. My brother said she can barely get a messenger bird to fly, wow. so how'd she snag a fairy? Wonder what food she used to train it with. Ah, uh, this music, I love it. This show is just so good, man. Much. Hattery, if you would. Oh, right. Now it's time. The good old salamander. Hello there. Will you help me? Man. This one's color is different from the salamander in our fireplace. I love that whenever they use magic, it's always okay, usually so pretty in this show. Burn only until I proclaim. Shine as autumn light over fields of grain. I mean, literally, just look at it. <laughs> Thank you, friend. That's enough. <laughs> However, if the neighbors refuse your requests, then you will give up. You are all here to become alchemists. You lose nothing by being unable to use magic. Would you help me, lovely miss? Well, aren't you a handsome boy? Thanks, but I'm not interested. Sorry to break your heart. You've just got this reek of rust about you. You know, those two red-headed twins look a lot like Chise, but that's probably just because of... Yeah, they just look Please a lot like it. You. Come on! Am I not good enough for you or something? Don't yell at it, me! I just want you to light a stupid candle for me! I thought you were a fairy, not a plain dumb lizard! Ooh. Bad idea. This is why you give up if they refuse. I bet they're all shocked by how he actually looks, man. Chise, would Poor you kindly thing. help her to calm down? I will. Um, Professor? I had put on a glamour to avoid trouble. What you see now is how I normally appear. You have just seen what can happen when you anger a neighbor. Countless mages have pushed their luck and wound up eaten. Those of you who believe they possess aptitude, raise your hands. For everyone else, I suggest you don't come back. The reason is self-evident. Hmm. That guy's scary. Do you think he's a Morion? Like those alchemists who wind up like Miss Alexandra. I hope they, like, explain more what you that get is. like that because they experimented too much. Oh, that was way too exhausting. No kidding. Oh, I bet he's getting quite the earful from Renfred right about now. Oh. He did angrily mention safety precautions when he dragged him off. <laughs> I wonder where Renfred took Elias for his talking to. He looks familiar. Oh, this dude who's also suspicious. I feel like half of them are like just suspicious just because they're alchemists and therefore I'm not sorry. necessarily trustworthy. Was... This is the first we've spoken, so I wouldn't expect you to know. I mean, I'm Rion Scrimgeour. Yeah. Just Rion. That's strange. For some reason, I don't feel all that anxious around him. 
Would it be all right if I were blunt? Sure. You're a mage. As such, would you please teach me magic? Probably not. Don't do it. Huh? Ah, yes, and then this last part. Which is, my theory is it's the dispose... What is it called? Disposal? Because, you know, one entrance to an entire tower-sized area of this college. One entrance for an entire area. That's just, quote-unquote, disposal. Probably not suspicious or anything. Until I'm proven wrong, this is totally my idea is that it's the disposal area. Well, this time I actually set it to record both audios. So, <laughs> I was so disappointed because I feel like the simple fact of how surprised I was about a few, a few things last up, well, this current episode, that I just couldn't recapture. It's very frustrating. But, like I said, this is like something I knew to. I've never done before. So, hopefully I'm doing well. Oh, also, also, gonna have to edit this video a little better because uh, I got a copyright claim on that last one. Not a strike, so not that big of a deal, especially since the only thing is it basically said some other company would monetize this that video, which wasn't even monetized. I'm slowly figuring it out, such as my thumbnails that I'm starting to add. Just let me know how you think I'm doing. And I appreciate that. And thank you for watching.